the CIA triad. Now, this is one of the biggest parts of the exam or um, one of the biggest parts of security uh, in general. Um, the CIA triad is talking about confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Now, the C in the CIA triad stands for confidentiality. What is confidentiality? This has to do with um, privacy, uh, keeping secrets secret. So it's basically the prevention against the unauthorized disclosure of information. So um, putting encryption on a file or email uh, that would uh, serve as confidentiality basically making sure that the right people have access to the information that they need access to and that it does the information does not fall into the wrong hands what's the opposite of uh, confidentiality disclosure so um, I'm trying to prevent something from being disclosed so the opposite would be disclosing it um, pay close attention to this because this is going to show up or this might show up on on your exam so the I in the CIA triad stands for integrity integrity is the prevention against the unauthorized modification of information so any changes made to a file any changes made to data um, needs to be tracked and uh, needs to be prevented from unauthorized people um, uh, taking this action. So, integrity, I. What's an example of um, prevention against unauthorized modification? What's an example of integrity? Hashing. Uh, we're going to get into this in the uh, cryptography um, session, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on what hashing is, but hashing is basically uh, a way of um, uh, tracking changes made to data. What's the opposite of um, integrity? Alteration. So, uh, if you modify a file um, and you want to prevent uh, unauthorized people from modifying that file uh, the the opposite will be alteration so the CIA triads a the a in the CIA triad stands for um, availability availability simply is ensuring that information is accessible and available for instance um, you have your uh, an online business like maybe eBay or um, Amazon uh, Amazon basically wants that site to be up if the site is down they lose a lot of money so you want to make sure it's always online um, and easily uh, accessible uh, by customers so that will be availability um, the opposite of availability would be destruction. Um, example of availability would be redundancy. So having um, backup servers. So if one fails, uh, one f uh, fails, the other one um, picks up. Or having um, storage, ample amount of storage. Uh, that will be examples of availability. Governance, security governance, um, is a set of security practices used to provide direction to an organization. So think of this as uh, a state, right? The state needs to be governed, right? That you need laws, uh, regulations, and things that uh, citizens abide by. So that would be the same thing that applies to security. So a company would need uh, the, the little rules and regulations that they abide by um, to ensure that the security posture of that organization is intact. 
Now, every agency or organization needs strategies. Uh, they need a set of goals, their mission statement, and objectives in order to ensure the lifeline of that business. Now, there are three types of um, goals that an organization um, implements. So, the first one is strategic. Um, a strategic goal is long term. So, uh, think of uh, IT and business goals. Uh, the next one is tactical. Tactical goal is uh, a midterm goal. And the third one is operational. Operational goals are short term. Um, there is a mnemonic to remember. Um, STOP, which is stop. Um, the P is not necessarily a goal. Um, it's just for the planning horizon. The planning horizon has to do with the combination of strategic, tactical, and operational goals. Now, what should your security governance consist of? Your security governance needs to address all areas of the organization, uh, including the acquisitions and downstream. So, um, you're acquiring a new piece of software. What risk does that um, introduce to your organization? Or you're you're acquiring a new um, business. Your business is merging with another business, or um, you bought a new business uh, what new risk does that new business introduce to the organization uh, what are your downstream liabilities are you employing contractors um, what's the security posture of the, the contractors so that would be like your downstream liabilities 